In some of our research studies that we've done, after heavy rainfall events, while feeding Altacid, we see a delayed one week or two weeks later, a small spike in horn flies. But in the, the long term, the product is still working. It just has a, a couple more flies than you would expect. And the research that we've done, it's usually been below economic thresholds. So if you're feeding Altacid and you notice flies a week after a rainfall event, and there's enough that you think it's worth treating, come in with a spray to knock them down and continue to feed Altacid and see what happens in another week. Because if you just see a couple extra flies, they're gonna naturally die off with the lifespan of the fly. And you know, Starbar offers a number of products that would be suitable for, for that kind of a use. But if they continue to feed Altacid in another couple of weeks, those populations are gonna drop back down to where we wanna. The recommendation for when to start feeding Altacid has to do with local weather conditions. And that's gonna vary every year. You might get an early spring or you might get a late spring. And you can pick a date on a calendar and sometimes be within that, or you can just monitor the weather locally. But 30 days before you would expect to see flies is when you would wanna start feeding Altacid feed all the way through the season and then 30 days after the first frost. And so what that does is controls the hornfly population throughout the season. And if you come off too early in the fall, those flies are going to be the flies that lay eggs that develop into pupae that overwinter and come out as adults. So in some ways they may be the most important flies to control at the end of the season rather than at the beginning. So throughout the year if you're feeding Altacid and you do see a, a small population increase. The key take home message is to continue feeding because over a week or two that population is going to go back down to where it should be.